Hello everyone, uh, welcome to Aspen Plus tutorial videos. Um, in this week's videos, I'm going to do a simple demo on azeotropic distillation. Now, obviously, there are more, there are a lot more methods that we can consider when it comes to separating uh, azeotropic mixtures. But for these videos, I'm going to focus more on pressure swing distillation method. Uh, same goes with the uh, chemical or binary system. There are more. There are a lot of uh, binary mixtures that that exhibit azeotropic behaviors, uh, which we will explore let, later. But in these videos, I'm just going to focus on the ethanol water binary uh, mixtures, and we will try to separate the mixtures using uh, a distillation column uh, block in S1 plus. Um, so, without further, so without further ado, uh, let's begin. So I'm going to begin my videos by giving you a brief introduction about azeotropic mixtures as well as azeotropic distillation. Okay, this is not a detailed a description about the, the, the behaviors of the molecules from the macroscopic uh, or microscopic point of view. This is just a general uh, introduction, I would say. Uh, we all know that the separation uh, processes using distillations are all based on the difference in relative volatilities. Now, the higher, the, 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 the larger the difference in relative volatilities, the easier for them to be separated. Now, things become more difficult when we consider mixtures having a relatively similar boiling point. For example, uh, uh, obviously, when we talk about uh, similar boiling point separation, uh, for example, uh, uh, C2 splitter as well as C3 splitters uh, to separate ethylene from ethane as well as propylene from propane, these two mixtures are quite difficult to be separated because they are, they have a relatively similar boiling point or uh, where the difference in, boil, in boiling point are just 3 to 4 degrees Celsius. Now, it is not because of this, it is not surprised that our distillation column or C2 or C3 splitters can have a number of stages up to 200. And they are and they, they operate under high refract ratio, which makes them one of the most uh, energy intensive separation processes. Now, what is azeotrope? Okay, azeotrope uh, is basically a constant boiling point mixtures. Uh, at this condition, the mixtures behave. Okay, even though they, 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 we have a two mixture, two component, component A and B, okay, at a certain composition, okay, it's not applied to all, uh, all uh, chemical mixtures, it applies to a certain chemical mixtures, where at a certain composition, okay, we will observe that the vapor phase as well as the liquid phase has a similar uh, boiling, uh, similar composition. Uh, and because of this, they behave as if they are one component. It's like you're boiling water, okay? When you boil water, water is in liquid phase, it's just water, and then water in uh, vapor phase is just water having a similar composition. Now, these are the result of uh, non-ideal behaviors of the, the two species. For example, uh, obviously, maybe uh, if the chemical in the liquid phase, okay, chemical component A and component B interact slightly strongly, obviously they are, they are, they, are, they do not really like to be in the vapor phase. So maybe they exhibit slightly lower vapor pressure compared to the ideal case, which are governed by the Henry's law. And obviously because of this, uh, this uh, azeotropic uh, behaviors, okay, they cannot be separated simply using ordinary distillation. Now, if you see this, uh, this, uh, these figures on your right hand side, okay, obviously you can see here we at the bottom here you have a, a liquid phase, and the top here we have a, a vapor phase, and uh, and in this uh, region between the purple line and the black line, you will have a coexistence, a coexistent uh, region where vapor phase and liquid phase uh, coexist in equilibrium, but they both have a different uh, composition amount. For example, here, maybe uh, maybe the composition of vapor phase, uh, uh, maybe here, and then the liquid phase is around here. 
Now, uh, if we move on to the mole fraction goes from left to the right, you will see that, okay, this, they merge and, and become one single point. In this case, vapor phase and liquid phase exist as one composition. So further enrichment can no longer be, uh, can no longer be, 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 be done, I guess. Maybe you, you, let's say the, the component uh, fit uh, enters at this point and then you can purify, purify, purify for the enrich. And you can only stop at this point. You cannot do, it, it cannot go any higher than this point B here. So we have to do something in order to, uh, to break this azeotrope. Now, azeotropic distillation is just a simple method simple distillation method to break this azeotrope so that uh, we can further enrich, enrich our uh, component uh, for purification process. And we can consider pressure swing distillation, extractive distillation, and so on and so forth. Uh, I don't want to talk uh, into details about this, uh, but if you are interested to learn more about azeotropic distillation or azeotropic mixtures in general, please uh, have a look at these uh, references if you want. Okay, moving on. Uh, as I said before, uh, there are a few, maybe a lot more uh, that I don't know of. Uh, a, a mixture, a binary mixture that exhibit azeotropic behaviors. The first one that on the left hand side here, I have a water isobutanol, uh, azeotropic uh, uh, binary mixtures where they have azeotrope or uh, azeotropic a point here around 0.66 uh, mole fraction of isobutanol. Uh, this one was taken from this paper by Min et al. in the scientific reports. And then the second one on the right hand side, you have uh, azeotropic behaviors uh, from the benzene and cyclohexane uh, mixtures where you can see that the azeotrope uh, appears at around 0.55 uh, mole, of, uh, mole fraction of benzene. Both of, both of these are figures are uh, the TXY diagram at one atmosphere pressure. Uh, for the second one on the right here, uh, it was taken from this uh, Kunshen et al, uh, published in the Separation and Purification Technologies in 2021. Okay, the, the, the mixtures that we are interested in is ethanol water mixtures. Uh, and, and as I said, obviously ethanol and water mixtures are as you talk, but we will try to explore that and we will try to generate our own TXY diagram using S10 Plus uh, later. Okay, moving on to our S1 plus design problem. So basically, we uh, we know that uh, ethanol and water mixtures cannot be separated with the ordinary distillation as the mixtures form azeotrope, which we will uh, generate later on the XY diagram. So in this case, uh, as a process engineer, you are required to design a process to break azeotrope using pressure swing distillation method to purify the component. Uh, in this case, we are trying to get ethanol around 99.7 mole percent and water 99.5 mole percent. Now, I don't want to just go straight into the simulation and input values and get the result. But in this case, because uh, well, normally for simulation, once you know the values, then you input the values and obviously you will get a result. But, but in these videos, I would like to approach things more systematically, I guess. Uh, we will try to uh, to do it like step by step, like, like a normal person would do, as opposed to just putting numbers and expect that things goes well. So to do that, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to determine whether what is the azeotropic composition of ethanol water mixtures at 180M. And then I will recommend, uh, based on this TXY diagram, I will recommend what's the pressure of low pressure column, which is this one. This is the first column, by the way, and then higher pressure column, which is the second column. Now you have to understand that the azeotropic composition will shift either to left hand side or to the right hand side depending on pressure this by, by changing the pressure you can change the the you can pretty much break the azeotrope in a sense you don't break the azeotrope is that the azeotrope uh, 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 shifted 
maybe the maybe the maybe the azeotropic point for low pressure is maybe 0.85 for example but uh, after you increase to uh, 5 bar for example maybe it become 0.83 so when when the product is 0.86 for example it's no longer azeotrope so you can further enrich uh, i will show it to you later on uh, after that uh, obviously, we need uh, to use a pump, okay, because this one uh, occurs at a higher pressure. Now, uh, one thing that uh, that I want to mention here is in some of the journal, I saw that they are using a compressor, which quite, uh, which quite, which I think is not quite right. Maybe I was wrong. I don't know. If you know what's the reason why, uh, let me know in the comment section. But basically. Uh, at the distillate section of the low pressure column, they don't use a total condenser, but they uh, they just use a partial. Uh, I think they they use a partial vapor type of condenser. So and then they compress the vapor phase. But I don't know. May, maybe you can. Maybe you. Maybe. I just don't feel that you 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 can use a compressor in this case because we are dealing with what com compressible compressible uh, liquid which is water and ethanol so i don't know about that but there are papers actually which is quite weird in my uh, in, based on my thinking so anyway uh, after that after we have done our simulation we need to determine what is the ethanol percent recovery reflux ratio distribute to fit ratio and condenser duty at low pressure column and high pressure column Okay, these are all the specifications required to uh, to complete the simulation, uh, which most of it were taken from this uh, paper, uh, Asma Ekbal, uh, in 2016, uh, published in Perspective in Science. Now, not, not all of the information are available in this journal, so I decided to add my own, uh, uh, my own values as well. But in this case, uh, column one here, represent low pressure column okay column two here represent a high pressure column not going to go into details you can just have a look at this uh, simulation uh, at, at this uh, simulation specification and and try, uh, try to do it uh, by own okay uh, that would be all for the design problem um, let's move on to our uh, simulation Okay, uh, this is my S Pen Plus graphical user interface. You know, as usual, just input our component. Uh, uh, our component is ethanol. Hit enter and then water. Enter. And then hit next. Uh, we will be using Wilson RK. Uh, let's see, which is this one. And then I hit next. And then I hit next. And then hit OK. Okay, next, uh, if you remember our objective, our objective was to determine what is the azeotropic composition of ethanol water mixture. So to do that, uh, just go to home and then go to analysis, choose binary analysis. Um, and then choose TXY diagram. Uh, component one should be ethanol, component two water, and then more fraction, we're gonna, we're gonna on the, uh, x axis you will have a mole fraction but we will use mole fraction of ethanol basically we will vary mole fraction of ethanol from zero to one maybe i will choose around 100 number of points uh at one uh one atm actually this is already one atm but just want to use one atm just to be just to make sure that the numbers are not like a lot of uh significant figures of this okay one atm and then just run analysis uh, okay, this is my uh, TXY diagram of, of ethanol water mixtures. Well, obviously, uh, initially they have this, uh, this uh, liquid phase and vapor phase and coexistent phase. And then up to the point where around, I don't know, I don't, uh, you, you don't see it uh, behind the videos, but, but later I will show you to the presentation slide. You will see that they, they merge these two lines, the green line and the blue line, they merge at one single point around 0.86 give or takes and the corresponding temperature is around 78 so that's our uh, azeotropic mixture uh, azeotropic mixture composition in a sense now um well obviously these are just, uh, this is quite 
quite uh, uh, zoom out kind of uh, kind of uh, uh, kind of graph. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna focus more on this region. So what I will do is I will switch to 0 0.8 until one, and then maybe around have around 20 number of uh, data points. So as you can see here, uh, these are temperatures. Okay, these are uh, these are the vapor uh, uh, the mole fraction of ethanol so as you can see the azeotrope is around 87 more percent of ethanol and the corresponding temperature is around 77.98 give or take okay you have to remember that now this is our azeotropic composition okay i'm going to move on uh, to the second uh, to the second objective which is to find to recommend what's the temperature or no what is the pressure of our high pressure column um, don't worry i will explain about this one later in the slide uh, just, just just bear with me for a second and i just go back to this uh, form input form just switch to 10 10 bar 10 atm and then run the analysis okay uh point eight something here right maybe uh, it's better for me if i would if i choose a slightly lower value so that we can see the 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 the, the, the curve going down and going up uh, i'll switch it uh to 0.7 i guess maybe it's not better that way but analysis uh give it a second now as you can see uh the uh, in the one atmosphere condition, the azeotrope was around here, 0.87, maybe here. But then at high pressure, the azeotrope shifted to a lower value, which is around, uh, around 0.79, okay? Which, and then the temperature is around 150 degrees Celsius. Okay, I'm not going to explain uh, the result here. Uh, but I will explain the result uh, in the presentation. So let's go back to our presentation. So as you can see here, uh, this is the TXY diagram for water and methanol at one, uh, in this case, one bar of pressure. Now, does it really matter? It's fine. It's a one bar, one ATM. Uh, then the curve is more or less the same. And then maybe the point is slightly shifted a bit, but one bar, one ATM, I, I think it's not going to make uh, too much of significant difference. So you have to understand here, uh, our feed, which is the ethanol water mixtures, is around 80 to 20 uh, mole percent. So our feed goes here. And as I said, if it's, if it's go here and the azeotrope is around 86, you cannot do further enrichment beyond 86. Uh, more percent of ethanol, which is the reason why uh, we do pressure swing distillation at one pressure. At one pressure, at one uh, value of pressure, okay, which is at one bar condition, if you use one column, you cannot do any further enrichment between 86 uh, percent because that's the limit. Now, in here, we have determined that. Uh, at one uh, bar pressure or one atmosphere pressure, uh, the, uh, you, you will have azeotropic composition around 86% and temperature around 77.6 degrees Celsius. Now, if you see, uh, if you remember what I did, I do, uh, uh, I zoom in into this particular region and, and, I, and I analyze the, the, the values uh, in more details. So these are the values. These are the values for TXY diagram for water methanol mixtures at one at ATM. Huh. The, the previous one is one bar. This one is one ATM. I think actually I do it uh, two times, but I forgot to switch the 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 values, the 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 pressure actually. But one as I said, one bar, one ATM doesn't really matter, I guess. Now at this one, uh, uh, again, is the topic is about 87. Maybe this one is 1 ATM. So the they are set, set change and the temperature is 77.96. Now, as I said before, if you are relying on one distillation column and you're, you are feeding your component at 80 uh, weight percent, 80 more percent of ethanol, if you're just focusing on, if you're just relying on one distillation column at most, 
you will get around 87% more percent of ethanol enrichment. But in this case, maybe I will target around 80, 86 or in this case, 86.5 mole percent of the product leaving my first distillation column. Okay, that's the that, that's basically the objective number one. We determine what is the composition or azeotropic composition at one, uh, one, uh, one ATM pressure. The second objective was uh, to uh, recommend what is the temperature and what is now what is the pressure of our azeotrope uh, of what is the pressure of our second column so that we uh, in order to break this azeotrope for further enrichment all the way to 99.7 uh, more percent so as you can see here this is the txy diagram at one atmosphere pressure and the one on the right hand side is the txy diagram at um at uh, 10 atmosphere pressure and, it's, and if you see the azeotrope here is 87 and in in the high pressure condition the azeotrope is around 0.8 so what i will do is to allow for the enrichment what i will do is i will do like this my feet enters it at the first column at one atmosphere operating at one atmospheres uh, the feed is 80 percent mole percent of ethanol and then I will do enrichment all the way to 86%. And then I will send the same component, okay? I don't do any, any enrichment and send it to pump and will increase the pressure to 10 atmosphere pr uh, pressure. And in this case, they are still 86% uh, percent, uh, more percent uh, uh, purity of ethanol. And in here, it will enter high pressure column. Uh, and in, in this case, the azeotrope is in here. I am no longer at the azeotropic point. So I can do further enrichment from 86 all the way to 99.7% of uh, purity that I want. So in this case, I am recommending one atmosphere pressure for column number one, which is low pressure column and target output, which is the distillate part, uh, around 86 mole percent of ethanol. And then the distillate part will enter will be sent to pump and then they will enter the high pressure column operating at 10 atmosphere pressure and to target output 99.7 uh, mole percent of ethanol at the bottom section of the part uh, of the of the column not at the distillate part the reason is because as you see here uh, at this point it is 150 degrees celsius but at the higher purity of ethanol the temperature is here 151 so we all know that the reboiler or bottom section is always higher higher temperature than the uh, distillate uh, distillate uh, distillate part so in this case our ethanol will leave at the bottom section of our high pressure column not at the top section uh, for this one for the first low pressure column yes they will leave at uh, uh, they will live at the distillate at the distillate section because this is at lower temperature compared to the uh, the, the initial one compared to the feed one okay um that's how i'm gonna design my uh pressure swing distillation so uh going back to our s plus and we will try to do simulation and see whether we can get 99.7 more percent purity of ethanol Okay, uh, coming back to our S10 Plus uh, GUI graphical user interface, um, I'm pretty much done with the with the property section of the S10 Plus. Just hit next, I guess. And then I'm going to switch to the simulation environment and create my own flow sheet. Um, okay, I'm going to use a column, a red flag column. I put one column here. Maybe I will write down a low piece LPC uh, representing low pressure column. And then I will have a pump, uh, which is under pressure changes. I'll put pump here, empty. And then I will choose another column, red flag. Here, uh, HPC. As usual, connect. Uh, this is my feed, feed one. Uh, this is my distillate. 
I will write down as product one. Uh, and then this one, I will write down as uh, feed two. Uh, this one, I will write down as a water one. Water one. Now, if you remember, the product is at higher temperature. So it should, the, the ethanol should live at the bottom section of the, uh, of the column. So here we will write down product two. And water, remainder of the water, I guess waste water, whatever you want to call it, will live at the distribute section. So water two. Um, so let me zoom in a bit. Uh, let me make it nicer. Okay, uh, just uh, hit next or just double click feed, uh, feed stream. It will, it will redirect you to the same uh, input form. So our feed is enters at 90 degrees Celsius and pressure of one atmosphere. Uh, mole, mole flow is 150 kilomol per hour. This one is mole fraction. Uh, ethanol is 80% and then water is 20%. Now, 80 and 20 is basically representing the uh, output of the ethanol production processes, normally from fermentation, like fermentation of corn, like in the United States, or maybe a more commercial, if you if you're talking about uh, a more uh, uh, a process processes other than fermentation, ethanol is normally produced, uh, can be produced from the dehydration of 18, I think if I'm not mistaken, uh, but, but you can have a look. Okay, I'm done specifying my feed. Uh, hit next, it will redirect you to my high pressure column. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna do a low pressure column first. Double click, low pressure column. Number of stages is 30. Condenser is total pressure, total condenser because if it's like a partial, the different uh, different uh, type of condenser, I'm afraid it's gonna go to the pump in a two phase kind of uh, two in in, in in two phase. But but I, I want it, I want only liquid enters the pump. Uh, reflux ratio here uh, 3.71. Uh, the 3.71 here, I took it from the general because I'm kind of lazy to figure out what's the best uh, reflux ratio. But uh, distillate to feed ratio here, I choose around 0 0.929 because uh, this is not the general data, by the way. This is my own data because from, uh, if I'm not mistaken, when I use the general data, I cannot get around 99.5% purity of water. I don't know why, but this is the, the value that I, did I, did I get, did I, did I obtain after I do some, some, uh, some sensitivity analysis. And then move to the stream. Uh, the stream enters at stage 23. Uh, pressure, uh, 180 m. Uh, I'm just going to assume no pressure drop. Okay, hit next. Uh, it will redirect me to a high pressure column, the same one, same number of stages, some same condenser, reflux ratio is 4.29. Uh, distillate rate, uh, just use a distillate to feed ratio around 0 0.74. Okay, stream coming in at uh, stage number 12 because uh, I decided to not use uh, stage 23 because what I found is at stage 12, they uh, they allow for a bit higher, higher, higher uh, enrichment. Uh, uh, pressure, uh, 10 atmosphere pressure. And then hit next, I will be redirect to pump. Discharge pressure is 10 bar or 10 ATM. And then I hit next. I can run my simulation and I will run it in three, two, one. Let's hope for the best. Okay, I got error here. Let's see. Uh, red flag is not converged in the 25 outside loop iteration. Okay. Where is it? It's under the error is under loop pressure column. So if that's the case, let me do the convergence. Maybe I'll do the hundred. 
Okay, good. Okay, I got a result. So let's see the result. Uh, just go to stream summary and then go to screen and then you will see the result. Um, um, as I said, water should have the purity around 99.5%, but the water should be at the bottom section of your low pressure column. So I choose mole flow. I expand mole fraction here. Now the bottom of my low pressure column should be water one. So I got around 99.999%. And just a mole flow is around 10 mole per, uh, kilo mole per hour. Now my methanol, no, my ethanol should live at the bottom section of my uh, high pressure column. So it should be product number two. I got around 99.5, okay, uh, 0.5 uh, mole fraction. Uh, but, but I need around 99.7, but it's fine, it's fine. Uh, and I got around, um, I got around 36. 36.23 uh, mole of product. Okay, if I want to get around 99.5, it's not that difficult. Just switch this to maybe, I don't know, 0 0.73, 0 0.739, 0 0.738, for example. Okay, and then just go to result. Where's my result? Uh, scroll down, go to stream. I should be able to get 99.6% or 7% more fraction, more fraction. Oh, still 99.5. Okay, never mind. Uh, it's fine. But if you want to get 99.7, just, just tweak the, the value, the value of a high pressure column, and you should be able to get it. Okay, I'm going to analyze all the results in my simulation sections. Actually, I have done the optimization like in the previous simulation, but uh, maybe for this demo, I don't get 99.5, 99.7, but I don't see, I don't see why not, because it's just a simple tweaking of the condition of the second column. So yeah, let's go back to our uh, presentation slides. So as you can see here, these are the tables or these are the values that I obtained from my simulations. Um, for the current simulation, I was able to get 99.5 uh, mole percent of ethanol, but the requirement is 99.7%, uh, which I think is fine. Uh, it's a matter of tweaking the, 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 the condition of the high pressure column. It's not that difficult, but if you want to use it, uh, if you want to do it, please go ahead and do it. And then the ethanol purity, I got about 37, 37 kilomol per hour. Water purity, I got 99.5%. Okay. Uh, 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 I got it uh, following the requirement. Uh, water mole flow, I got around 10 kilomol per hour. Ethanol recovery here, I got around 31. Okay, the one on the right hand side here, the one highlighted in yellow, these are the general results, by the way. And these are my reflect ratio. Uh, obviously, this reflect ratio will be similar because I just copy and paste their result. But the only thing that I feel is quite different is this distillate to feed ratio. Okay, to obtain more or less the same amount, say purity, I have to use this one 0 0.92 and 0 0.74. And I have no idea how they got 0 0.55 and 0 0.8. Actually, I did try to use their result, their, their, their distillate to feed ratio, but what I got is this, is 99.8% uh, is of ethanol purity, okay, as well as 27% of water purity, which does not satisfy their requirement. And I, I, I don't know why, but this is something that I, that I, that I feel that, that I got when I simulate uh, the, the the process using their own values, which is this one. I don't know why, but uh, but overall, I think I, I, I satisfy the purity requirement. I have my oh, uh, these are all the condition of my high pressure column and low pressure column. So to summarize, um, uh, you can always break the azeotrope of ethanol water mixtures by changing the the, the pressure of your uh, column. Obviously, you can use uh, maybe even lower pressure condition if you want, 
because you know when we deal with a high pressure column obviously to have a thicker uh thicker column wall it costs money and things like that but maybe you will save some costs in terms of like operating costs who knows i don't know but those are those are the few things that you need to consider when you uh do this pressure swing uh this situation okay um that would be all for me um if you like the videos give it a thumbs up uh, consider subscribing to my channels if you have anything that you want to comment or the, that you want to say please write it down in the comment sections um have a nice day and i will see you again in the next video uh goodbye